This is me facing an eighth grader. Oh! And if you're wondering how I ended up facing an eighth grader, well, let me explain. It was about to be Father's Day, and of course, I wanted to spend it with Buster, but in typical Buster fashion, he wanted to work. So I headed to Houston to meet up with him and my mom so we could spend the weekend together. You don't think you'll like Top Gun, Mom? The new one's way, 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 way better. Like, I've seen it twice, and I actively want to go back to the theater and see it a third time. It's that good. As is Bauer family tradition when we're in Texas, we stopped at Saltgrass Steakhouse to get some food. At dinner, the craziest thing happened, and I know you'll never believe it, but I met an Astros fan who is also a Bauer outage fan. And quite frankly, I didn't know how to feel about it. Astros fans, are there more of you out there that actually like me? Uh, I was a little confused, so I signed his ball, took a picture with him. Employee? Yes, sir. Ask for me to sign something for him. Perfect. I think I know who you were talking about. Let me see if he's still here. Okay. But my camera kind of cut off. It died before I could get that on film. So you'll just have to take my word for it. He was a really nice guy, though. So if you're watching, leave me a comment below and say what's up. The next day was Father's Day. So happy Father's Day, Buster, even though it's two months late at this point. Uh, but the day involved some looking at property and a little engineering project. Like yeah, to stay on this stuff. side of it. So we put in a retaining wall so it drains off and then put in the, so it drains down here into the cold. So it's Father's Day and uh, celebrate Father's Day. Buster and I and Kathy, we're out here doing a little bit of work. So we got these posts that are in the ground here now. Building a little uh, septic spray field here on one of my storage property facilities. So we have this line that's running right here. So we built a triangle. We got three little septic spray uh, sprinklers. Put a sprinkler there and this symbolizes our little spray head. So we had to come out here, measure the whole thing out, get it scoped out, dig some holes, plant our posts in the ground. It's about 95 or 100 a day in Texas. So that's how we're spending Father's Day. That's what Buster likes to do. Yep, that's what I like to do, all right. Exactly what I like to do. We played a little bit of catch, which felt like the most American thing we could possibly do on Father's Day. Uh, and then we found this really cool barbecue place for some dinner. Third Coast Barbecue is the place that we're eating, and the indoor seating here is actually a house. So here's like the kitchen and the dining area. Pretty darn cool. So that was Father's Day, but there was still one thing left to do while I was in town. So I called up my good friend, Kevin Poppy. Okay, time to head for some live ABs. Texas edition, so it's gonna be super humid. Now he runs a training facility called DST, or Dynamic Sports Training, and I highly recommend you check them out. They do a fantastic job. I trained with them for many years and still very close with them. Anyway, he said he had some hitters that wanted to face me in live ABs, so we met up to have a little bit of fun. Hey! What's up, guys? How How's it going? Man? Trevor. Dave Handel. The first hitter I faced was an eighth grader, but check out this swing. Hey man, that was a nice swing. Stayed inside it. Cutters up and in are tough. That was good. Dude, that's a hack. Now he did ground out to short on a cutter on the hands, but I was really impressed with how he pulled his hands inside and tried to get the barrel to the ball. We'll see a little more from him later. Oh. Good pitch. <laughs> Hey, nice swing. Was that changing? Yeah, it was probably a homer if you swung. Ah, there we go. Oh gosh. Oh. That was my favorite sequence. Fastball away, cutter away, both look like strikes, and then sweeper the off. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute since I've seen one of those. <laughs> After all we've been through. <laughs> Ooh, did not. Not even close. Did not go. Did not go, okay. Wow, what a take. Hey! Ball? Yeah, it's down. Hey, it's a good hack though. If you're gonna take a 2 0 hack, that's the kind of hack you wanna take. It unfortunately sets you up to strike out, but. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. So now it's like, do I front hip again? Do I sweep the slider off or throw the curveball down? Whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> front hip slider. Okay, let's change it up just a bit. Let's try something different. Strike. <laughs> <Check him. 
Damn. Yeah, do you want to chase the curveball in the dirt or swing at the fastball up? Um, just give me a fastball down the middle. Okay. <laughs> I, I slipped a little, yeah, I no tried, <laughs> I tried. I mentioned earlier that I was impressed with this kid's swing, but I was also impressed with his competitiveness. Now he got beat on a cutter on the hands the first at bat, and he wanted some redemption. So he chose the cutter for the second at bat as well. What pitch you want? You gotta, you gotta take the pitch before the at bat though. The cutter again. Cutter, okay. So you chase the fastball up, so if I throw you top shelf cutter, you might take it, or I can go back foot cutter. Oh, I had him, I had him. Oh, you got one, two? There it is. Now, I did end up keeping my word and striking him out on the cutter, but he put up a good battle. All right, what pitch you want to strike out on? My man, the smart one. Everyone's like, oh, I want the slider. I'm like, no, you don't. Why would you? That's stupid. Oh, good hack. Didn't expect you to swing at that one. I should not. I realized I was like, oh, I gotta come in. There we Fuck. go. <laughs> okay, what pitch you wanna strike out on? Change up. Change up, my man. If you're riding and you pick the change up, that's the best one you can pick. Oh! oh yeah. Hey! Oh. What pitch we wanna strike out on? Maybe we won't get to two strikes, who knows? Hey! Oh! Good plan. I'll take that curve though at the end. Curveball, okay. I got that down. <laughs> down the middle. <laughs> oh, oh man. Didn't get the two strikes, I know. See that curveball next day, <laughs> What we got? What pitch you want to strike out on? Heater. Smart man. Oh. Oh. Two two. Oh. You got a guy there? What pitch you want to strike out on? Uh, fastball. Okay. These kids learn down here, man. Yeah. Uh, that's, that, that's that pitch that, like, if you're able to swing, it's a homer pitch because it's middle, middle, but it starts at you and you, uh, can't pull the trigger. There's your chance to hit it. Uh, oh. A little over anxious. After a quick inning break, it was time to face my eighth grader again, and this time the at-bat didn't last long. I guess he didn't want to see the changeup. And even though he got jammed and it was another weak grounder short, I'm super impressed with that kid. He's definitely someone to follow. No! <laughs> Me. God damn it. <laughs> Got in there a little bit. Oh. 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 <laughs> and that's a sword to end the session. Hey, get your sword merch at trevorbauer.com, all right? I signed some autographs for everyone, took some pictures, and with that, it was time to head back to work. Work. Boys! <laughs>